Hey guys, Rob Andrew here. Wanted to give you some um, tips on posing. So I recently put together this little slide deck for a class and wanted to share it because these are like a handful of little things you could actually remember and fall back on during a shoot without you know getting into your phone and getting into a posing library or remembering all the do's and don'ts of posing that you see in books. Um, just a quick little acronym to help you out when you're actually um, using this. So, without further ado, the awesome little acronym is RUM HATS. So, this is, gives you a few little things you can, you can take with you on shoots to remember. Hopefully take it with you in your head and not have to look at it. But um, relaxing on a prop is what the R is for. That's your first one. Often this is my first one um, on set too because I want my subject to be loose. I don't want to start off necessarily with standing poses. So I may have them be in a chair or leaning on a wall at least um, for the first few shots. That way we can all just kind of relax, get to know each other while, um, while we're starting off. And then we can go into standing poses a little bit later on. Um, the U is for uneven shoulders and hands. So that just means that the height of the shoulders or hands is not the same. So um, especially with headshots, you'll see a lot of uneven shoulders. And that's a pretty good technique if you don't overdo it. Um, also like the hands to be at slightly different heights if you're showing the hands in the shot. Uh, the, the M is for motion or walking, so giving your subject something to do, um, whether it's walking toward the camera or some other sort of motion, um, is really helpful in relaxing and getting um, establishing sort of a teamwork between the photographer and the subject. So uh, motion is what that's for. Then we have the H for hip kick. That is especially useful for female subjects. Um, kicking the hips out to one side or the other just helps form some more dynamic lines in the pose. As does A, which is ankle cross. And that means crossing the, the legs, crossing the ankles over one another. This works for males and females. Especially um, is great for um, male posing to sort of just get the weight shifted to one foot or the other. And uh, you'll find this one relaxes the pose quite a bit. Um, so this is one I rely on a lot. And the last two, T and S, are just shapes. So shapes to remember are triangles and S's. Um, triangles, pretty obvious. You get those often by bending an arm or forming some kind of triangle with the arms. The S is a little bit harder to get to, but if you, um, if you want a way to achieve the S, it usually is formed by the head leaning in the same direction that the hips are shifting to. And I can kind of show you a couple examples of that. So, uh, simple studio pose, nice, uh, relaxed look, looking off camera. You'll see this one kind of has the S shape to it. It has a triangle by the ankles being crossed. It has the uneven shoulders. Just has a lot of the elements that we talked about. It looks pretty loose, looks pretty relaxed um, for a standing full length pose, um, which is probably um, one of the more difficult things to shoot. So um, again, standing full length pose. Um, these are just modeling digitals. So we're looking for the triangles here formed by the legs apart and the, um, the hair and the hand coming together there. And we also have an overall S shape. And you'll notice, again, what I mentioned is the head leaning in the same direction that the hips are kicked out to. So if you just remembered one of those, one or two of those elements, like kicking the hips out, and having the shoulders uneven, you'd probably get um, to a nice pose. You don't necessarily have to do all of them. It's just one of those things or two of those things can be a catalyst for creating a nice pose. All right, and then uh, this one, you'll notice the hips are shifted out to one side. Um, the hip shift tends to look a little diminished, a little bit less on camera than it is in real life. It probably felt like a big shift to the model, but it's really, it doesn't look like much on camera. So um, you, you do want to shift those out to one side pretty extremely. You'll notice that, um, we have a subtle S shape, we have uneven shoulders, and we have a couple of um, triangles being formed by the arms. Here's another one. Um, this one looks a little more posy, but still nice. Um, the shoulders being tilted a little bit to one side, um, the hands are at uneven heights, and we have some simple triangles being formed in the, in the body shape. Here's something to look out for. This is a nice looking pose. Um, we do have a kind of a, an S curve and we do have a nice triangle, but um, if you're not careful with arms up poses, 
you can get um, the armpit over featured. So try not to over feature the armpit. It's just it's just a simple one. I think that kind of goes without saying. When you have short sleeves, you just kind of have to be careful about that. Um, here's a three quarter, another really simple three quarter, and this one is primarily the the hip kick and the ankles crossed. And I guarantee she felt like she was going to fall over uh, doing this pose, although it looks quite relaxed um, because of the angles there. But we have, and we also have a little bit of motion with the hair blowing. So any kind of movement that you can get involved in a photo is always helpful. I think the ankles are crossed off camera in this one. We can't see the ankles, but I, I assume they are. Here's a, a whole collection of triangles. Uh, beginning with the hair, the bangs are cut in such a dramatic way that we have just a ton of diagonal lines working in this thing, and that just help, helps form a lot of natural triangles. All right, here's one where we have extremely uneven shoulders, but it, it is a nice, pretty relaxed looking pose. Although it's kind of extreme and probably felt a little extreme to her, it does look fairly relaxed. So just by making those shoulders uneven, we have a nice, a, a lot nicer pose than her just standing straight on. Here we are with relaxing on a prop. So putting her on the swing in the backyard, um, just loosened her up quite a bit. We have the hands at uneven heights, um, which probably didn't occur naturally. Probably had to um, tell her to do that. Um, thing to look out for when you're relaxing on props is the wardrobe. So you can see the dress got a little bunchy here. Um, so when you're having people um, sitting on things, just watch out that the wardrobe doesn't get too crumply. All right, here's a prop. Um, having her hold the ball in the right hand just allowed that shoulder to get up a little bit higher and just relax the overall stance. All right, and this one we have two arms up, but we do have the benefit of long sleeves, so we don't have to worry about the armpit feature. Um, we have the ankles crossed off camera, and we have the hips kicked out to one side, which is creating a nice little diagonal line in the lower half of the body. And then finally we have uh, Natalia here. She has a really simple pose, but the motion on the hair kind of makes it more dynamic. We also have a slight hip kick, and we have the hands at uneven heights. Now, if I had this one to do again, I would probably turn that left hand of hers a little more away so you don't see as much of the back of the hand. But um, overall, pretty relaxed looking pose and something you can easily recreate. So uh, next time you're out posing, remember the rum hats technique, and I think you'll have some fun with it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.